Hi everyone, in this screencast I'm going to be talking about how you can create a Word document using your OneDrive Word Online account. So one of the suggestions that I'm going to make is that every document that you create, you organize it in a way that will be easy to find it. One way that you can do that is by going ahead and beginning your document in a folder that you've previously created for a class. So here I've created the fourth grade folder. I'm going to double click to open that and you'll see that that puts me in my documents and my fourth grade folder. And what I'm going to do is create the Word document for he from here so that it's automatically stored in the folder where I want it to go. So if I press New, I'm going to create a Word document. Now the Word document that will pop up here will look very similar to the desktop application. It is very good practice to always change the name of your document in the very beginning. Currently in Office 365 OneDrive to change the name all you have to do is click on where it says document and then type over the name or backspace and type over and change it to a descriptive name so that you know what it's going to be. And then you can just begin typing like you ordinarily would. We do have a number of features here. You can change the font, you can make it bold, italics, you can underline, you can change the color of your text, you can add different headings, and you can even insert clip art. When you insert clip art from this area, it's going to search for images in Microsoft's clip art collection, which are copyright safe for us to use in our work. So for example, if I typed in dog and pressed enter, I could then find different images of dogs that are available for me to use and then I would choose the dog I would like and press insert. And that will insert it into my document. Now when I'm ready to exit my document, all I have to do is come back up here to where it says Word Online and next to that you'll either see your name or your email address and when you press that, that is going to take you back to the folder where you last were. If I want to get back into a document to edit it again, all I have to do is double click and that's going to open it into a view panel first. From my view panel, I have to click edit document and I'm going to edit in Word Online. And now I am able to edit my document in Word Online. 